agree. You know, don't like I said, don't knock it. Like we had an episode before where we had um Jay, Jay Howell on there. And the thing is, what everybody may or may not like, that's their forte, but have you tried it at least? Right. You know, if it's now, of course, it's something that's kind of out of your, you know, if you're doing a little extra, extra, like it's just a little too uncomfortable. I get that part, but something that is not too difficult or hard or it's just something that you're not interested in. If your partner brings it to you and y'all just feeling each other and y'all in love, especially your husband, when you're married, shit goes out the window. All that, yes. all the morals and everything else, you better be wild. He needs to like breathe in the is. Oh. A businesswoman and whatever you're gonna hold yourself accountable in public, but you gotta be knocking them sheets at, at night. He need to be having look if you wearing wigs and everything, he need to have a different woman every night. That's okay. how you have to handle this, and especially with children. It don't matter. It don't matter. You you know, you gotta you gotta yeah. make it work. Do not forget that part. Yes, children comes in, you know, their your life and they're all up in there. But you still have to, make, have to make that time, even if it's got to go into the broom closet and, you know, get your little quickie in. Or the car. Oh, a car. Don't matter. Don't matter. If the seat laid back, you can get that. <laughs> exactly. It, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, but seriously, like, you know, there's people make up excuses. Um, Some people say they're tired. You know. It's just, you just have to figure out something. Go take a nap, take a power nap. But don't let, if that's, I mean, not saying sex is everything in a relationship, but it's a part of, um, and bring y'all questions, y'all. I, I look, I want mm -hmm. questions, questions. We are just, look, we free balling it tonight. So if you got a question, we will answer it. I'm not texting your phone, Mr. Sean. Lord have mercy. Anyway. Like me don't consider he don't consider himself a freak i just refuse to tell my woman no sex sexually so i'm gay from a passionate night all the way up to public sex and 50 shades shit whoa so the 50 shit <laughs> okay so oh i i was i was hoping somebody bring that up because who's into the, like chains and whips 50 shades like that type of thing please answer me because i want to know how it's done to I just need to get some clarity with that because I always want to know out of curiosity. I mean, I'm not into whips because I'm not for nobody whipping my ass. So, you know, I, I want to know say two that. inches is on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that, while you wanted to know about that, that's kind of going into our next topic here. Yeah. What's your definition of a freak? So I want to hear from y'all. Let me, you know, chime in, leave me some comments. What is your definition of a freak? So some people like them whips and chains and handcuffs. Honest, honestly, that's me. Oh, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. I, I'm telling you, I got uh, I got the handcuffs, I got the uh, blindfolds, I got the the whip. Look, I, I I love it. Now, how many times have I used it? Don't ask, cause you know you got to be really ready for that. Cause when children, life just changes everything. Right. So. You know, sometimes you got to, you know, get a hotel room sometime to do all that kind of stuff. So really, when it comes down to it, when we get a little bit of moment, we ain't worried about dressing up. Look, I'm yeah. naked. You deck it. We're getting it in. <laughs> That's just how yeah. it is. But if you can plan it and everything, I do have, like I said, pure romance, enhancement creams. Look, I, I'm very open minded to a lot of things. I don't say to a lot. It's certain things I may so say no to now. Like how we was going in. Um, you didn't see the episode about some people like to eat the groceries a little bit in another area yeah. there. That's not my forte. That's what yeah, that's not people like to do. But some people love it. Some people absolutely love it. So it's just two each is who own. So um what is a definition of a freak? Let's see. Well, we got some um comments here. Uh, my philosophy is oh, you know what? Here we go. Let's see what we got. Do you think people make excuses because they are afraid of something new or afraid of being judged? So that's kind of going to what is the definition of, of being a freak? Some people are not freaky because of the fact that they don't they don't want to be judged or um, 
they, they, they might come a little too aggressive. Let's say you are the female aggressor. You're the dominatrix and you don't, you're trying to shy away with it because he's not into it. Yeah, and you're trying to just keep your little inner freak and you don't want scams. So you try to smooth things in a little bit. So some people might not make excuses, but I just feel like they're like, okay, maybe he's not ready for that or she's not ready for that. So we have to go a little slower with some people and ease it on in. Like I said, I didn't do a lot of things until I got married. So <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Marriage, saying, everything goes out the window. I, I, yeah. Don't be trying to be conservative and cute doing marriage, girl. I Let it all hang out. <laughs> and I got two kids. So that's oh, fine. yeah, that's proof of the pudding. Yeah. Proof in the pudding when them children pop out like, Lord, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> but we got another comment here. Um, my philosophy is I'll try anything once. We won't know it until we, if we like it, until we try it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, that's the right way to go about it. That's what I say. Ease them on in there. And then you never know what that person like. Do that thing I like, babe. Exactly. And my thing about this is, especially this is your first time being with somebody. And, okay, of course, at first, you may not know them that well. Right. So it's going to take, especially if it's somebody that's going to be around for some time. You're going to live and you're going to learn. You're going to explore. You're going to try some things. That chemistry is going to grow. Then next thing you know, y'all just having all kinds of mind-blowing sex and everything. But sometimes you got to get there first. Because right. you don't know what works well for somebody. Somebody might not like you doing it like this. Somebody don't might not like it fast. Somebody might not like it slow. Some people don't like that aggressiveness up front. They want to make love. You know, it's just different things that might may or may not. He might want his nipples uh, clamped, you know, pinched. I've known people that like that type <laughs> of stuff. I'm telling you, she might like to be bit, hair pulled. Somebody might not like that because they feel like it's disrespectful. So it just really is a matter of what works for that couple. But you got to have the adult conversation about it mm -hmm. as well as don't be afraid. And yes, people are afraid to try new things. I think it's because they're insecure about a lot. And that's where your partner comes in. Well, if that's going to be, you know, some people just smashing just to get it over with. Right. But, mm -mm. you know, but somebody no, that really truly me. cares about you um, will kind of say, babe, no, nah, you're good. Whatever you got on, you know, let's work through this. I'm willing to learn with you. Let's go ahead. Like, if you don't like it that hard right now, if I'm a little too big, let's go slow. Let's work it out. Uh-oh, what we got going yes. on? Yes. <laughs> yep, I love pain. I'm tatted all the way up and my woman can't hurt me. Nails are otherwise, so... Slap me, choke me, be spanked, get choked, cuff, safe words. Oh, okay. All right, good. Oh. See, see, well. safe words. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so I need to go watch Fifty Shades of Grey again to understand, you know, what's going on, you know, because mm -hmm. I've seen it, but I never could get into it. So, hey, okay. So, is that everybody's definition of what a freak is, or is it different levels to being a freak? Some people like that, the pulling, spanking, scratching, clawing, you know, but um, sometimes, especially when you're married, you have a chemistry where, I don't know about you, but I will have some, I do have some we're going to get into that. What we're going to get to that part next. Yeah. But depending on that partner, man, you be seeing all kinds of different stars and spaceships and you're not even high. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lord, what, what, where is he taking me? But Especially when that spot gets hit. That's it. Somebody yeah. who not to find the spot. And just can, you, can you testify oh. that? Yeah. Girl. Girl. <laughs> oh, you know, here go That's another it. one. I love y'all got these comments coming in. Perfect. Got I can't keep order. up. <laughs> That's okay. I, I got you. Uh, make a freaky date night with your partner. Always have open line of communication. Yes. You got to keep that date night, especially when you have children. Like, don't forget that. Just because y'all did it to get them kids, don't mean you're going to stop. At that time. This, just a night at the you, hotel. If your, if your tubes ain't tied, make sure you take care and you're going to be having about five more uh, bubbles running around. But <laughs> be safe and, you know, take care of your, you know, wrap it up or whatever you're going to do. But don't forget them little date nights. Don't forget them date nights. Uh, 
because to me that's okay. what keeps things interesting too like you mm -hmm. don't want that to be obsolete in your marriage relationship or anything just as much as trust is important sex is too that might be you know somebody probably like no it's not but no it is you want to have that physical communication i'm gonna say <laughs> communication I, i'm gonna go with that emotional connection you need all that so that's important too sex is important hmm. might not be the top priority but it is important you know what i love that some people just come together perfectly when you find look i'm gonna say it like this when you find that perfect match that perfect fit that perfect everything i'm just saying y'all know what that mean sometimes something just like whoo, it just make you go a up haircut, there yeah a simple haircut <laughs> the way you're just looking at me you know <laughs> let's just let's just go somewhere exactly it's like that especially foreplay shouldn't stop and it should like especially like when you're working everybody is away send them little texts send them little naked pictures every now and then still spice it up some you know especially if y'all having some routine stuff you need to make him excited about it at least you know <laughs> to send come him home a nipple. to it send him a nipple, a <laughs> nipple. <laughs> <laughs> send him a nipple Something. send him you know, a whatever you like taking a bath and like this is you this could be you you better come on home you know stuff like that but he over there laughing to rush on home and go home to my lady because goddamn she ready she got food cooking but she <laughs> funny story like when you're so attracted to somebody that freakiness it's it's bad when you just like okay i'm gonna cook have sex eat then have sex again that's the attraction all he did was just look at me <laughs> girl i'm telling you look just, Ain't nothing about that when you have that just, you ain't even got to touch me. You just can come in. I can just, like, they'll have an aroma or something or just something that will remind you of them or they just look at you a certain way, like you said, they smile or touch you. It's like, man, you was, get on, go on now. I'm over here trying to handle my, my work business because I work from home, so don't be rubbing my back and doing little cute stuff like that because, look, we're going to put this little screen on pause. <laughs> and we're gonna make yeah, sure <laughs> don't be playing with me like that but see it's that chemistry though I, I i absolutely love that because foreplay is important but if you just can look at me and i'm looking at you and you just already like yeah let's go that is something spectacular i can definitely say um let's see what we got here um um the question of the night is it's kind of up to you guys y'all can throw us some stuff we're really um this how um let's see right here I, this is how okay. i am with my my wife is about me oh i want to prove that um miss roni are you here <laughs> can you prove can you say yes to that <laughs> i love i have married couples in the audience i love Ooh, it um a girl that wants to be nasty oh there you go when I come home and have dinner cooking while wearing nothing but some heels. Mm. Eat little things like that. You get a meal and some bare ass. Mm. You good. Mm. Look, I'm telling you, I used to do that. I used to have the water running. I make sure your you know, clothes are washed and ready for work. Have that pulled out. All you got to do is go take your shower, sit down, eat your plate. Then we getting it in after that. And then that's the rest of our evening. But it's like, because... I'm one. I'm a type that caters. I do. I I, I absolutely, and that's kind of how I was raised by my mother. It was, and the women in our family that are married and things like that. It was the cater. Now, not saying that it, you know, it's a control thing where you just gotta, you gotta do that. It's just if you want to do that, it's a lovely gesture. But don't don't get with somebody that's gonna like, you know, this is your role. This is your kitchen, right? Because I don't believe in gender roles at all. You can have a man in the kitchen taking care of home and everything else. You know, I don't believe in all of that now. But if I choose to be at home instead, I'm going to make sure because he's out there busting his ass all day long. He's happy to come home. He's happy to, you know, he ain't got to do nothing but take them damn clothes off because it's COVID now. Wash them things, you, you know, or throw them away. What are you going to do? But you ain't got to worry about nothing else because the house is clean. 
I might even take the trash out. You know what I'm saying? It's just everything is taken care of for you. The kids don't, you know, been fed and everything else. They in the bed or watching games or whatever they're going to do. And they out your way and out your head. They're going to kiss you. Thank you, Dad. Oh, love you, love you. And then they ain't going about the business because they don't been ripping and running with me all day long. I wore their asses out. And, you know, and by then, it's time. It's it's nothing like that time to unwind with your mate. Yep. It's it's nothing like that time because um ooh look at that look at these comments are good and good but look, <laughs> I love this but it's nothing like that special time and I know that feeling when you're trying to work from home and telling him he better stop playing with me before we're both taking unskip schedule breaks. Amen. That's what I'm just saying. That's you know what, what I'm what saying. Is- look, I, I don't I don't been there and done that now. No, <laughs> but sometimes that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Let's get into it. I'm saying choked and what are y'all in here talking about? See, Ooh. he like to be choked. Um, oh, 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 you like to choke. <laughs> okay. 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 See, some people like that, but some people think that's a little too aggressive. So it just depends on. Now, I'm a, I like all that type of stuff. Me, honestly, because look, you only live once. So <laughs> you might as well enjoy life. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. As anything, it turns you on even more. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's personal experience, but I'm just saying.